Hello friends, I am so excited. Tomorrow I go to the Get Beauty, which is a beauty conference for YouTubers. It's a lot like BeautyCon in the States, but it's the French version. And I'm so excited to see everybody. There's a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time. And then I've never done a meetup before, so this will be my first meetup. I'm also going to be up on the stage around one o'clock, but well, it's too late for you now if you're watching this. But I'm so excited and I'm going to try and film as much of it as I can, not knowing how much I'll be able to film, etc. And yeah, and right now I'm packing, so I'm going to show you a bit of that. These are the three dresses I'm still picking behind. This one's from Zara and it's not maternity at all. I think they had a maternity section once, but they only had a couple of clothes in it and it was really ugly. And nobody bought them because they were ugly and so then the collection didn't work and they're like, oh, we're not going to do anymore. It's like, Zara, you could have done better. This is from ASOS Maternity. And then this is also from ASOS Maternity, but it's not the ASOS brand, it's Mamalicious. Yes. Okay, I'm so excited. I love them all, actually. That's part of the problem. But either way, I'll wear the rest of these this summer. Getting out some possible choices for shoes. Those are just plain white Converse. And those are some heels that are, they're not really heels. They're platforms from Pull and Bear. And, ah, more platform wedge heels from Pull and Bear. So Laurent's Father's Day present came in and I'm really excited. It's one of those electro-stimulation pads you can get to get rid of muscle soreness. I saw one at the pharmacy and it was like 45 euros, but it's supposed to last for a super long time and the pharmacist recommended it. But it was kind of expensive and so I looked on Amazon and I found the same thing for like 11 euros. So very happy with that. Oh, it's not stuck, sweetie. It's closed on purpose. Ta-da! Good morning, friends. Today is the big day. I'm leaving for Paris. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna get on the train. I'll just obviously show you that. I'm gonna be in first class, which is exciting. They're actually paying for my trip, which I was very pleasantly surprised to learn. And my child is asking for more chocolate. So it's all gone. It's all gone. Ah! Okay, can't wait to film this evening and tomorrow for you. And here is a bump shot. If you didn't know, because I haven't really talked about it on this channel very much, I'm pregnant. Boom. Oh, and my bra's a little bit too tight. That's fun. So I'm on the train now and I've changed outfits. Sorry, it's really noisy because I'm in the part where I'm actually allowed to talk. Ooh, but no more pants for me. Oh my gosh, I've been having horrible contractions. They've been lasting about 45 seconds and coming every two minutes. So really hoping, hoping those will stop. I took some there's a type of medicine called spasmone that they give you to friends to stop contractions. I'm not sure what to do. You'll be seeing this after the fact, so you won't be able to help me, but fingers crossed. They're not stopping. I've got another hour and a half to go, so I think long car rides are out of the question for the rest of this pregnancy. Oh, this sucks. With my daughter, I had the same exact thing, and it didn't dilate me or anything, but my cervix was long and completely closed right up until 41 weeks, but I had the same thing. And I would just contract like seven to eight hours a day with no breaks between contractions. And that's kind of what I'm having again. Started up this week. This really sucks. It's bad timing. I was kind of hoping this would happen after after my trip. But we'll see. There's a bath in the hotel. I will be, will be taking a bath tonight. I'm back at the hotel. I don't have anything exciting to show you, like a room tour or anything. It's just your basic budget hotel. Got free gummy bears and free Evian though. That's sweet. Yay, France for the free Evian in hotels. They have that quite a lot here actually, which is pretty cool. Anyways, had a really lovely evening. I went, well, okay. So actually it started out like crap. So first when I got off of the train, I'd misunderstood. I thought that they were going to have rides arranged for us from the train station to the hotel but apparently not, it's only tomorrow that they're doing that. I thought it was one trip today and one trip tomorrow, but no, that's not how that's working, so, oops. Uh, and I was like, and now I'm stranded here at the train station. I don't know where to go, how to get there, nothing. And so I tried to like take a taxi, and they were gonna be like, mm, that'll be 50 euros, and I also had to go to, I didn't have to, I had the opportunity, the lovely opportunity to go to a soiree at the YouTube space here in Paris, and so to get from the hotel to the YouTube space, that was gonna be 50 euros, and then uh, 50 euros to come home. And I was just like, 150 euros for the soiree in taxi fees. Oh my gosh, I can't do that. Like I just, I didn't, 
the, I didn't plan a budget around that at all because I kind of thought it was going to be taken care of. I was wrong, that's embarrassing, but I found out I was not the only one who misunderstood. There were also other girls who were kind of like, oh, and kind of caught at the last minute because they also thought that from the train station to the hotel that we'd have a ride or something. <sighs> Moving on, sorry, just rambling now about train stations. But anyways, like I ended up like just like crying and sitting outside of the bike rack at the thing because they also, when I went to go do the taxis, they did, it was gonna be ridiculously expensive, but also they wouldn't take my card because it's what they call an electron card, which is, it's a long story. <laughs> but this card like only works in certain machines. It doesn't work in all of the machines, which makes it kind of a sucky card. And yeah, so I was just like, all right, I'm gonna like sleep at the, the train station tonight, that's fun. But I ended up getting here eventually. What happened is I sent a message to the person who's organizing the event and I was like, I was, uh, like, and I think he could tell I was kind of emotional and he called me and I was like crying. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get anywhere. I'm stuck here, they won't take my card. And he, so he paid for the taxi from, the train station to the hotel so thank you very much from the hotel we ended up taking the metro it was really easy to get to the youtube paris space from the metro and then home because it was kind of late there were five of us five la, 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 la. there were five of us and we split a met um I cannot talk today. And we split an Uber, so that was pretty sweet. I got to meet lots of really cool people, but I couldn't film at the story because they have what's called in France the droit à l'image. So you can't film people and like put it up on your channel without their consent, and so they, they kind of had a no filming rule. There were people that were filming anyways, so that's cool, but technically they weren't allowed, apparently. Eh, I'm a rule follower, but I don't mind when people break the rules. And yeah, later tonight, if all goes well, I'm gonna go out and we're gonna go eat with a few of the girls that are in the same hotel as me, which is really exciting. And I just love you guys. Good morning, my makeup is half done, but all the girls are going down to meet for breakfast right now and I do not miss an opportunity for food, so I'll come back up and finish that later. But this morning, oh, I was so excited because I was like, I'm finally gonna get to sleep in. When you're a mom, you don't get to sleep in anymore. That's just not a thing and I was so excited. And then somebody calls me at like 7.30 and they're like, hello? And they start like yelling like, Chloe Bay, Chloe Bay. Like this is like, <laughs> apparently it was her driver and someone had given her not the name of Chloe B, but they gave her my new, oh, I'm just doing the song. And apparently somebody didn't give her the number of Chloe B, but they gave her the number of Patricia B. And so he kept insisting that I was Chloe and that I needed to come down because he was coming. And I was like, no, no, I promise you're not picking me up. Like this, you have the wrong number. And like, he's like, well, can you tell Chloe? And I was like, I don't have Chloe's number. Like, I, I don't know who you are. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna give some random person who calls me the number of a YouTuber that I don't, I don't have her number anyways. But even if I did, that would be super sketch. And just the whole thing was so weird. And he like would not let me go back to bed. And I told him at the end, I was like, sorry, I just wanna go back to sleep. I don't know who you are. I have nothing to do with this story. Just let me out of here. And so just let me, just bye. And he was like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, have a good night sleep and I was like hmm. it's too late now because you yell on the phone you know how some people they talk kind of loud and they're energetic on the phone and then you have people that yell like this and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> that was me and so yeah I've been up since then getting ready I know I can't complain 7 30 is not super early to wake up but I was just so excited about finally getting to sleep in my yeah I was gonna sleep until 8 I wasn't gonna sleep in late anyway so you know now I'm going down to breakfast with the girls and I will see you in a minute. Anytime I hear the voices of other people in rooms as I'm passing by, if it's like a, a young like woman woman's voice, I'm like, oh maybe it's another YouTuber. <laughs> N'importe quoi. So this is my face of the day. I don't know if you can see really well in the lighting, you'll see better later. This is my mess. Uh, no, it's actually clean. I kind of cleaned it halfway. It was like all over the place, but that's fine. And then this is my outfit. One of the big advantages of being pregnant is that uh, nobody else is gonna be wearing a maternity dress. So it's not like I'm gonna get there and like everyone else will be in the same outfit or something like that. Cause that's always something scary, especially when you're on a budget cause everyone else is on a budget. You know what I mean? But this is good. It's very excited. There's the bump. How many weeks? Oh, I don't even know. I was not holding this camera straight at all. Whatever. <laughs> I'm at 26, almost 27 weeks. And baby's kicking up a storm. Yay! And my belly button's popping out. Look at how exciting that is. Yay! <laughs> That's just like TMI, you guys don't even care, but I love you. I'm 
here. So excited. The day started. This is kind of the room for all the YouTubers, so that's really exciting. And I'm sitting in front of some candy. We're well stocked here with candy. I have bodyguards, <laughs> so that's new. And I am just preparing for the quiz because I'm gonna be up on the stage later today. That should be fun, yay! And here I am with the girls. We're getting, we're eating our lunch. It looks very yummy. I got the Buddha bowl. This is Leia Shu. I'll put all their channel links down below. And I'm very excited, this looks so good. I just sat down on the scene a little bit ago. It was so cool to see everybody. I got to answer some questions. It was a lot of fun. And now I'm just hanging out with some of the YouTubers that are in the YouTube space. This is Catherine. She's from Canada. She's from Quebec, so that's pretty cool. And if we weren't spoiled enough as it is, there's also a little massage corner over here for the YouTubers. How cool is that? And I'm just chilling with Romy and Laurelyn and her husband over here. Hello! I am back in the hotel room, so that was a really, really fun day. I wish I'd been able to see everybody more and get to talk to people for a little bit longer because it goes so fast, like when the people are there. And then towards the end, the people who had waited, waited the longest in line, I only had five minutes left and they were like, go, go, go. Like, and so I couldn't sign everything and I couldn't, I felt really bad. So I'm <laughs> sorry if you came and waited in line and I couldn't sign stuff for you or whatever. It's kind of a bummer, but it was so cool to meet everybody. And at the beginning, I took, I was able to take the time and talk to people a bit more, and that was really cool. So I'm so, so glad that you took the time to come out and meet me. That's really nice. A couple of people got presents for the baby, and I want to show you. And for my little girl, I'll show you real fast. So for my daughter, who's crazy about dinosaurs, this is one of those cool sequin shirts that you just flip it over, and then on the other side, here, yeah, let's see if I can do this while holding a camera. I usually need one hand. See, look how cool. She's gonna be thrilled with that. Very cute, very cute, very cute. This is a polar blanket for baby, which is actually, not polar, what do we say in English? Ah, uh, fleece? Mm, I don't remember. This is <laughs> perfect though, because they said to bring one of these in this size to the hospital to do skin to skin. And I actually didn't have one yet, because I didn't get one for my little girl. So this is absolutely, like really, was actually on my list of things I needed to buy for the baby bag. So thank you very, very much. I have a mug to drink my water in. <laughs> That's what she said on the note. It says you had me at Aloha. It's from New Look, if you're interested. Very beautiful. And Reese's, which I'm going to eat tonight. I'm so, so excited. And then right here is another cute little shirt for my little girl and she's going to love it. I'm very excited. Also, because I love chocolate, Ferro Rocher. This is, you cannot go wrong with Ferro Rocher. It's some of the best chocolate, love it. I have some letters over here, but I'm saving those for the train ride tomorrow because yeah, I would just like to read them calmly and I'm, I'm actually excited. I'd like, I kind of want to save part of the day for tomorrow so that it lasts a bit longer. And then this is actually kind of like a letterman jacket from YouTube, which is sweet. I think we all got them, so I'm not like special or anything. All the YouTubers were there, who were there got them, but I'm very excited about it. Right now I'm just waiting for my Uber Eats to come. I've never done Uber Eats before, but the poor person is coming on a bicycle in the rain, so I'm sorry, <laughs> person who's working tonight on a bicycle. That kind of sucks. Ooh, 12 minutes. Getting closer. I got nachos and cheesecake. Uh, otherwise the day went really well. They tried to make it so I was sitting down a lot and stuff just because I'm pregnant and they were like, uh, like they were a teeny bit nervous, but the day went wonderfully without a hiccup. It was great. I'm already excited for next year. I don't know if I'll be invited again next year, but you know, it's always good to presume things. Yes, and I'll show you my food when it gets here in just a minute. Good morning, friends. I'm currently at the train station. I think it's quite noisy, so I'm gonna bring you in close even though that <laughs> gives you a very lovely look at my face this morning. The Uber Eats ended up coming and it wasn't very good because he, he tells me to come down like with it. It's like your driver's gonna arrive in five minutes, you need to be there, get it. So I went downstairs and I waited outside in the cold. It was raining in my pajamas and it kept saying like, oh, he's here. And then he would like, and then it would say, nope, it's gonna take him another five minutes. And then it would be like, he's here, nope, one more minute. And it ended up being some like 15 year old on his bicycle, some like total kid, like he was really nice but had no idea what he was doing. And the food, it took, ended up taking so long to get there. The cheesecake that I got was warm and very not the right texture, very unappetizing just because I was like, mm, I don't know if this is hygienic anymore. And the nachos were 
lukewarm and soggy, so it, it wasn't anything I was really excited about. But I feel bad because like the kid, I was like, you're so young, I can't believe you're out at late, this late at night delivering food, but yeah, what can you do? Oh, the sun. Anyways, I just picked up my lunch from this little restaurant, which is where I always get food when I come to the uh, train station in Paris. I'm gonna show you. It's called Prêt à Manger, and here's all my stuff coming with me home. And let's go catch a train, shall we? So I'm home now and needing to unpack. I'm gonna go do that in just a minute. My little one will be here soon. I'm so excited. Uh, it's only been two days, but I really missed my husband and my baby. So I'm excited for them to come home as well. She spent the weekend at grandma's house and oh, apparently she had so much fun. My mother-in-law called me and asked, actually tried to convince me to let her stay an extra week. She's like, but she loves it here. And I'm like, I know, but I love her too. I want her to come see mama. Anyways, the train ended up coming in quite a bit later than it was supposed to because somebody got very sick on the train. They were calling for doctors and everything and they ended up having to stop the train like mid route and uh, have some firemen come and take the person off the train. So I hope they are doing much, much better now. I'm sorry for whoever that was that you were so ill. That's horrible. I'm gonna end the vlog here for today, but I love you guys and can't wait to see you in another video soon. Ciao.